Andrew Swade and welcome everyone to have the Swade Back Kid Garden with me, Mitchell Juno Swade. In this video feature, I'm going to show you how I actually transplanted a pepper plant. So I decided to show you guys in this video how I actually transplant a grown, mature, dying pepper plant into a pot so that it could survive and get, you know, vibrant again. I'm not quite sure if you can see from this angle, so I will put a picture for you guys to see. This pepper plant was basically dead or dying and it's doing pretty well, it's getting back to life. Um, it's gonna flourish pretty soon, I know that, somewhere by April month and at least. Once it's taken care of, it should um, basically start to flower. Um, this plant is almost about two years old. This pepper plant, it's a very old pepper plant and the root system was terrible. But if you transplant a dying plant or a dying fruit tree at the right time, it can recover. You just need to know when and how to transplant it. So in this video feature, I'm going to show you how I transplanted this dying pepper into this pot to get it back to life as you can see. Of course guys, don't forget to subscribe to Iris with Back Kid Garden. Give this video a like and share it with your friends, okay? Thank you so very much, let's go ahead. Okay guys, so I hope that you can hear me clearly. If not, I will do a voiceover. Um, okay, so what we're gonna do as I said, um, we're gonna transplant this pepper right here I need to plant some new plants in this um, basically plant stand And what I decided since today is or tonight is the night of full moon I'm going to transplant this pepper plant. So from tonight, um, full moon night to the next seven days The plant will mainly be stimulated on the ground. The reason why I'm transplanting the pepper plant right now is so that the plant can recover well with the root system. If you can see here the plant is shaking pretty easily meaning the root system is not all that strong. So hence the reason why I really needed to recover well and so I decided I'm going to have it transplanted on the evening of our full moon. Now what I'm gonna do, I have a container here. What I started to do, I started to recycle clothing. So please try your best to get like a cotton clothing or cloth no worries, it will not have any direct contact with the plants. It's just going to be here to protect um, or to prevent um, moisture from leaving the pot too quick or, you know, like soil or anything like that. So I just went ahead and stuffed the bottom here. Next, I'm taking some pieces of wood. Now, these are not wood for the plant itself. I'm placing this here also just to put something in the bottom of the pot to take up space. Here you go just to make up space and eventually when it start breaking down, it will break down very slowly. But I'm mainly doing this to take up space. So now what I'm going to do, as you can see, wish you could see it like that, right. So if you can see, right. So I'm just going to take another cloth here and just try my best to just stick it in between the wood anywhere that I'd be, might have space. Eventually the roots will get in direct contact with it, but it's not to feed the, the plant itself. Just have it there to fill up the bottom. Right, so that way, when the soil comes upon it and the moisture and everything, it will retain moisture for the plants in the long run. So here we have it. Okay, now I'm going to put some organic material in the bottom of the pot. Just some dry material. This will all eventually break down and the, oh my gosh, oh my, oh boy, I guess it was the time to go. I need to put it to at least two inches. Here you go, just stuff in the bottom of the right here. Next, I'm just going to put some soil on there right now. So right now I've got some pieces of coals. So coals is what we call in Dominica is like burnt stick. It was slowly cooked so that you can burn it again. It's basically stick, branches of trees. So I'm just going to randomly place them here. All that to help the plants in the long run. And now I'm going to just add on, add in some soil, not a lot. It's a mixture mainly of sandy soil, okay? Not too much. Great. Right. There we have it. Okay, now it's time to move the plant. Let's see. Now I want to try my best to get 
as much of the roots as possible so I'm just going to make like a circle around it it really do not have a lot of roots and um, by the way you could give some water overnight so that the soil could be a bit more compact okay I did give it water last night as you can see here's a bit darker than here Just want to try my best to oh my god it really don't have a lot of root system try my best it really don't have a lot oh then i'm just gonna place it on there it really don't have a lot of root system i hope it recovers so just place it on there and then take some of that soil not a lot Here we go. Oh my, it's shaking. Yo. I really hope it recovers. Obviously, when you see it at the end of this video, that means it recovered. Then I'm going to add some rich goat manure on the surface there. Right, so here we are. Remember, leave space for you to add compost material. Then I'm adding on some, adding in some water. And squeeze it down. Now remember, eventually, everything in the pot will break down at some point so the plant itself will start to sink as it's breaking down and you can go ahead and add some more soil that's fine i'm just going to leave this overnight the water will eventually go down as you saw we really have a well filtrated or aerated system at the bottom there there's no need to worry just leave it overnight i'm just going to add in something to protect it tomorrow from the sun some coconut fiber now eventually I took out this coconut fiber when I notice that the plant is sending out new leaves and really recovering quick and then I'll add in some compost material and allow the plants to, to just be in the spot to enjoy its new home we have it we just transplanted our pepper okay guys um this is right now seven days prior to full moon okay and if you remember as i advise you if you'd like leafy growth to take place in your plants you need to prune your plant at least seven days prior to full moon that is because as the moon is rising upward growth is taking place now i transplanted the pepper when the moon was going down so that the root could have time recover and right now it's almost like a month now since I transplanted it and now the moon is coming up so now I would like it to start sending a lot more leafy growth so that it could branch out so that it could produce a lot more pepper um, of course after this has this has been done after I prune it seven days before full moon for the next full moon I will wait when it's full moon like not this one but the next one in April and I will prune it again so it could stay short when it reach to a certain height because what's going to happen right now I'm going to have to cut it and it's going to send out a lot more leaves and it's going to grow faster. So by the time April full moon come, full moon come about, sorry, it should be tall enough that I desire. So I'll just give it a small pruning at the top to just prevent it or to allow it to know that I would like it to stay short. So right now that is what we are going to do. I know it's very sad that it has peppers on it and it's actually flowing, but I want it to send out some new leafy growth. So hopefully by pruning it, it will send out some here. One, two, three, four and then one two there's not any not on this side so the next one will be all the way up here so i might leave that branch and i might prune this one let's see what we will decide okay so for sure we've got one here one here that's one two uh sadly there's none on that side and i want this one to do so i will go ahead and cut it here i know it's a lot to remove but i need to get this done 
So I'm going to cut it here. Again, I don't have the pruning tools as yet, so as soon as I have it, I will, you know. Um, so here, I only have two here. Uh, maybe put some all the way at the bottom. Yes, if I prune it, I'm seeing here it has one, so it will possibly send out a new plant all the way at the bottom down here. So I'll go ahead and prune it here. I'll prune it here. And actually I'll prune this out, so I'll do it here now. Because it looked like it will send out some at the bottom, yes. So from here, moon is coming up, so it should send out some new branches. By the time I present this video to you, you will possibly see this new development okay well i hope indeed that you enjoyed this video presentation of course don't forget guys subscribe as i said and don't forget a backyard garden in some ways will keep the doctors away and agris wave is out <laughs>